Buenos dias, deus, dia. It's me, Cora Flora, wearing a toque. I'm now officially Canadian. I have a flannel, a toque. Actually, no, I still need the Canadian tuxedo, the all, all jean tuxedo. If, when I find one, that'll be a glorious day. But yeah, I'm Canadian. And it is a beautiful, glorious day as is. The weather is godly. I am on my way to a church, to a food bank. And then later, I'm gonna be meeting up for coffee with a church leader of another church to discuss music and possibly presenting some of my inspiration. So it's a pretty spiritual crown chakra-y type day. I love that it looks like DNA strands or like swirls of love and light coming into my head. So yeah, this is my world. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> So I just checked it out here and there's a super long lineup and I realized that if I stay here I'm gonna miss my meeting at 10 so I'm just gonna trust that I will be paid today because I do have money coming in so this is maybe my opportunity to choose love and not fear the worst I mean someone once told me prepare for the worst but expect the best and that's kind of what I've been doing so I'm gonna do a little more expecting for the best today I am not scared to sing in public. I am not scared to share my soul. I am not scared to vlog in public. This is my way of breaking free. Oh yeah. The truth is, I am scared. But I choose love to be more powerful. We have been sharing about many of our experiences and our encounters, our joys, our, our challenges, our victories, all that kind of stuff. And it's just, um, I'm just so thrilled to be able to talk about these things with somebody. And so actually, I feel, would you like to say something? I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I say? I think most of all, it's just so great to connect genuinely with somebody else and see into somebody else's soul and share a piece of yourself to know somebody and be known is wonderful. such a great alignment. It's so nice to connect with people who are genuine, humble, and passionate about connecting with the divine. It was very inspiring for me. And now I'm back at home. I'm gonna jump into some reading, maybe some journaling, and some financial record keeping. I don't really have that much to record right now, but I plan to. And you know, it's interesting because today the conversation with Chad, we were talking about a wide range of spiritual things. And it's interesting because his background is like, uh, I think he has a master's in theology. Like he's like hardcore about learning all the wisdom, all the theories, all the religions. 
And I kind of come from the other hand of like raw experience and I just want to feel it and what's the lowest common denominator. And it's interesting because we were talking about money and one of the things that throughout near-death experiences, every single time when people go to heaven, spirit, hereafter, whatever you want to call it, there are many things that matter, like love, what we learned, how our souls grew and evolved, but money and material things don't matter at all. And it's interesting because I feel like I love money, but I feel like I have had past lifetimes where I had to learn what it was to abuse it, what it was to hoard it and use it to control. And I feel like this lifetime, I'm doing my best to come into right relationship with it. And perhaps vlogging this process is part of it for me. But yeah, this afternoon, the words came to me from greed, from greedy to grateful. Cause it made me think about how I feel like when I'm like, oh, I need this, I need that, I need this, I want that, oh, it's not enough, oh, I want, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. I'm not enjoying what I have. Whereas when I'm grateful, and I mean it in the way of being full of greatness and appreciative, I get to actually fully enjoy the moment. So my intention is to transmute and heal the parts of me that feel greedy or feel lacking because the truth is that we are all provided for and I'm cool with that expanding I'm cool with that blooming I'm cool with my experience evolving to have more responsibility and my queendom and perhaps multiple eco villages around the world one day it's one of my dreams but for right now I am choosing to be happy with what I have I am choosing to be grateful I am of service And I'm choosing to accept that this moment and all these conditions are perfect. I'm really enjoying how this hat makes me look like an elder. It looks like I have, like imagine I have a fluff of white hair just on that side. I'm elder on that side and like young one on this side. It makes me wonder what my inner elder would say to you and to the world right now. So I'm just gonna tune in and play with this. My inner elder would say, don't take life so seriously. It truly is just a game. It's a blink of an eye. Make your life about enjoyment, about savoring every moment, loving as much as you can, laughing until your belly hurts and you almost pee your pants. The best things in life are felt with the heart, just like Helen Keller said. And all of us, when we return to spirit and we have our life review, those are the things that will be the gold, the jewels, the treasure. The moments when we felt inspired, we felt connected, we genuinely opened up and shared meaningful experiences of creation. It's that kind of richness that makes us truly rich. When it's combined with the material, even better, it's wonderful. But that fades, just like the body. So focus on the soul for the greatest investment you can make is in loving. I hope you enjoyed that. That was, that was very interesting and beautiful. I'm actually feeling inspired to play with these daily vlogs and have different days where I play out different facets of my being. 
Like I'm already really excited about the idea of dressing up as a man for a day and just seeing what that's like and perhaps doing some manly things just to kind of give my masculine side an expression. Um, or I would love to also maybe do a goth day and do an inner child day. So right now I'm just planning, playing, getting excited because the truth is that we are multidimensional beings. And I saw a beautiful quote by Teal Swan on her Instagram today that was saying that our soul facets, it's kind of like stained glass where it's like different elements that we shine through and they're all beautiful and they make this beautiful mosaic. And personally, I feel inspired to explore them more, to widen the spectrum of my soulful expression in this world and also my compassion to be able to see through the eyes of another, to walk in the feet of another, but more than anything, to breathe from the heart of the one that we all come from. So on that note, wishing you a beautiful evening. I will see you tomorrow. And please look up at that moon. It is magical tonight. Very, very magical.